Hey, hey. Good morning. John Michelle's texting me. She's getting ready to load the car, load Jason Katie, and come home. So, oh, look, I'm live. So good morning, y'all. Good morning, good morning. Welcome to day two of the Red Hot Relay. It's going to be another awesome day. Uh, yesterday was amazing. We started out with me doing my little barn. This little barn. Hey, Kathy. So that's what I did yesterday. Just a little craft project. And then next was Angela McConnell. And she did a spring grapevine, I believe. No? Yeah. A grapevine. And she's Wild Oaks Decor. Uh, then next, Becky. Becky. She was on... And she tied a beautiful bow that she paired with a sign. Y'all, it was good. And then Tracy Myers with Naked Door Decor, she came on and she did two projects in one hour. She did a grapevine and a centerpiece for a table. Two projects. And they matched. Imagine that. Uh, then Miss Linda... Anderson with aqueous silk came on and she marbled. She dipped a bunch of stuff in water and it came out beautiful. Um, and she did a lot of projects. I was amazed at all the things she did. Hey, Jill. So good morning. Hey, Jeanette. Leanne and Wanda and Kay and Becky Jones and Jace, Sam, Katie, Sandra, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Christina, Ooh. Teresa, man, y'all are just jumping on. Uh, and then we ended the day with Kelly and Abby from Events and Essentials, and they each made a mesh wreath. So, y'all, and they were working, there was pink everywhere. Thank y'all for sprinkling, spreading the love, sharing, whatever you want to call it. Y'all just go for it. Hey, Trish. So, today, hey, Wanda. So, today, it is Starting off with me, I'm going to do another project. This is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to make, tie some pretties on this. And we painted this. Me and Michelle painted uh, sometime this week. First of this week, last last week, I don't know. But we painted, and I painted this one. Hey, Tina K. Tina K. Hey, Carol. So... That's what we're going to do to start. And when I get done, Miss Kathy O2 from Jersey Girl Wreaths and Designs. She'll be up next. She's a Jersey girl, y'all. She is a Jersey girl. Hey, Ashley. Hey, Deb Miller. Uh-oh, my computer went black. Hang on. And then after Jersey Girl, after Kathy, is Vicki Stroud with Starfish Reese. And y'all, I'm not real sure what she's doing. Yeah, get you some caffeine and get ready to go. She'll do a project. Then Miss Rachel Holmes with Lovey's Flowers. She'll be on at one. And I know she's doing some cookies. Tina K. With Swanky Rustic will be on at 2. And 
I don't know what she's doing. She had some ideas thrown out there. Hey, Debbie Thomas. Hey, Janice. And Ramona. So she'll be on doing a project at 2. 3 o'clock is Chris Haas with Affordable Reef Sign. And I don't know what she... Oh, she's sublimating some stuff, y'all. Hey, Emily. So she'll be sublimating. And then Becky Jones will be back at 4. And I don't know if she's going to do a project or just go through the prizes and the giveaways and see who won. Um, but we've had two. We're going to have two full days of this. There's a lot of prizes, so stick around for that. Um, and this is this is the little rail that I'm going to do. Uh, me and Michelle painted the other night. Here's the one she painted. It's a it's a door hanger. It's not a rail. But that's the one she painted, and I sealed them the other day so they'd be good and dry. And we're gonna get this a going, y'all. So first off, I guess we'll put some pipe cleaners on here. Let me go overhead and see see just how close we are. See if we're good enough to see. And y'all, I just grabbed some stuff um, out of my stash at home. So I, I got this this mesh. So we're going to go just a little bit of a rustic with this one. And then, I don't know where I got this, but I'm sure when I got it, I thought, what am I ever going to do with blue mesh with pink border stripes? But y'all, it kind of matches pretty close to the glasses and the pink that's in the bunny ears. So I thought, well... This will be a good project to use that mesh. Get that, get rid of that. And then I just grabbed a bunch of ribbon. So I grabbed the pink. This, y'all, this is a uh, Sam's ribbon. Or maybe Costco, I'm not sure. I grabbed a black because of the black. Um... Uh, Grab day, and I've got a lot of solids done. But I grabbed the uh, burlap looking ribbon, grabbed bunny rabbits, and this one's going to have a lot of solid color. And then I grabbed some of the, the blues. And I grabbed a thin, I think it's 5 8 inch, maybe, burlap, 7 8 inch, so it's almost an inch. So we'll see how it turns out. And if I have to, I've got lots of other ribbon I can find. But I think it'll be I think it'll be good. Okay. So how many of y'all hung around and watched some of the designers yesterday? I watched pretty much all day. I had it on. I was working, but I stayed. Stay pretty close. Hey, Gloria. Gloria. Okay, so I'd always start in the corner. Where did the rail come from? Pamela? That come from Wiles Creek and Company. And uh, this is one of our new rails. It also comes in door hanger size and wreath size. You watch most of them, most, most of them. This is the wreath size. It comes, you just paint it. 
and it's got the etchings. So I guess, can you see the etchings on the bunny rabbit where you can paint him, put them together, glue them together. You watched all the lives. Pamela watched all of them. I watched most all of them. And they were great. The Learn Focus Win team is doing just an amazing job. Kudos to them us or however you want to do it okay i put five across the bottom and i just spaced them evenly so i do the two sides first come back to the middle and then middle middle hey mary so that's our bottom and then we move up to our top middle rail and i just go in between the bottom two so there'll be four Do I have some black gates in front of my store? I have, there's, no. No, there's not black gates. Um, we're in the old Job Drug Store. In the old, hey Kelly. Now Janice is from Gladewater, so she'll know what the old drug, old Joe drug story is. I think. Hey Joy. Kelly, he loved the rail. I thought it was cute. Okay, so I'm just splitting. Coming in between the bottom ones and tying on the top. Just a couple of twists is all you need. Couple of twists. And y'all, I don't measure. It'll all work out. Okay, so we'll wind up with nine ties. That's usually what I wind up with. And now I'm going to cut a little mess because I didn't cut nothing. You know me. Thank you, Kathy. Okay, so this is just a little bit of burlap color with cotton. I don't, I don't think it's cotton, but it's white stripes. And I'm going to cut these at 20 inches. Twenty inches. So I need nine of these. Hey, Melody. And I'm going to square this up just a little bit. Okay, so 20 inches, 9 of them. I like to do everything live. I don't like to prep before. Um, my 
most of the time it's because I don't know what I'm doing as far as how many inches I'm going to cut. You know, I don't, I don't plan that far in advance. Just kind of go with the flow. We have some new people in here. Y'all, if you're new, be sure and let us know who you are. We like newbies. Hi, Penny. Yeah, and, and I like, I like doing it all because, you know, three, six, seven, two more. Some people, some people may have never, never even made a mystery. And they might like to see the process that you go through. Oh, Brenda, you're new from Arkansas. We're in Texas, so you're not far. Well, you could be. Okay, so that's nine of those. So that's, that's enough. And then these I'm gonna cut at, oh, let's do 15. Well, if you're new and you haven't been around this is the Learn Focus Win group, which is a business group. They they came up with this idea, not me, to do this relay, which we call the relay. Some people call them marathons. We decided to do it relay because when I get done, there's another one coming. That sounds more like a relay, right? Yeah, it is pretty, but I've had it a long time. I, I didn't know what I was going to use this on. When I was digging around yesterday, I saw it and it kind of matched. Matched my little rail, so I said, hey, I'll, I'll use that. Because I didn't know what I was going to use it on. Hey, Brenda from Indiana. Cut it all the way, all the way through. Anyway, the uh, Learn Focus Win Group came up with this idea to help them grow, and that's what it's all about. So, if you're on here, one more. So, if you're on here, and hey, Tom, throughout the day, please share these designers. Uh, they're just working hard trying to grow their business and I've always said that you do not have to spend money 
to support our businesses. If that makes sense. Why don't I do it direct? Okay, he's back here. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go forward and kind of show you how I do this mesh right quick. Oh. So what I was saying, you don't have to buy anything from us to support us. If you just share our videos, comment on our videos, y'all I roll these a couple of times, and then just gather them in the middle. Stick it straight down in the tie. And tie it in real tight. So you don't have to spend money to support us. Just like, comment, share. That's all we need, y'all. It helps more than you know. Or you may know. But it gets our name out to more people, I guess. Hey, Teresa. And y'all, I just pick these up, set them right back down. Hey, Peggy. Peggy, Peggy. So y'all, I, I do the same thing, just roll couple of times, bring them together. So throughout the day, when you go in and see these designers working, just know that you are supporting them with your comments, your likes, follows, shares, hearts, thumbs ups, whatever you like to do. Good morning, Diana Carroll. And these things just just fall into place, y'all. Yeah. Thanks, Charlotte. And I just do this in all nine times. I wonder. I don't even have a clock here to see if. See what kind of time we're doing. Turn this computer back on so I can see. All right, so I'm doing good. Oh, Jeanette sprinkled me across the nation. <laughs> Thank you. So y'all, you know, these rails are really easy. Um, generally, I use scraps on um, a lot of them. Thanks, Albert. Because it doesn't, it doesn't take, I mean, I have enough mesh left over that I could have done two of these projects. So when you do a rail, you're using less product. Uh, you can showcase your painting skills along with your wreath making skills. Um, and they look really good on a door, on a wall, it don't matter. Oh, you got a coffee cup with this bunny? So the projects, I mean, they're pretty much endless. You can do anything you want to. Hey, Abby Lynn.
wish I did these a uh, long time ago when we were doing craft shows because you can crank them out pretty quick. You use much, you know, less supplies. So there's a pretty good profit margin, I guess, if depending on, I guess, how much you charge and where you're located. Uh, you know, a lot of that plays into what you're selling when you're selling it. Okay, so there's our first, there's our base. And y'all on this, on this color here, all I'm going to do is just ruffle it down the middle. Let me get a little room. So y'all, all I'm doing is I flip it over against the curl and then just, just crunch it down the middle and it makes a little butterfly. A little butterfly type thing and then I just go straight in the tie and it just gives it another layer to your mesh that's all it does Carolyn, that all the items have shipped from the live sale, so they're. Oh. Here he is. I can't start over. You've probably been eating hamburger cupcakes this morning. Hey, Jenny. Yeah, the, if y'all didn't get to watch yesterday, the replays are on everybody's. Each individual has their own. I mean, we're doing it from our own pages. So because we're trying to build build their businesses um, everybody you know does the live on their own page and y'all get to go meet new people thanks Jenny see other designers see what they have to offer so it's been really fun and We'll probably do several more of these. Because everybody just loved it yesterday. I mean, the designers loved it. So. And y'all, we've been encouraging them to go live. And do what they do. Because there's so much, so many different things that they do. And even, I mean, mo most of them do several different businesses, you know. They may do wreaths, they may do door hangers, you know, kind of like we do. You know. So they have a lot of different talents and they need to get out there and show them. So does this, that look, looks kind of purple, don't it? But it's not, it's blue. I guess it depends on how your, how the colors come out on your phone. It looks, it's kind of purple on the camera. Okay, so these were put in, in every tie. So nine of the, uh, burlap color and nine of the blue and pink. I 
This part's almost over. And we get to play with ribbon. So y'all, Michelle's been at market all week. She sent me a message right, right before I went live and said, what time are you coming up here to load the car? I said, what? Y'all, that girl. I don't know who she thinks I am. What time am I coming to load the car? Thinking, well, are you spoiled much? But you know, she's been at market walking and being crazy for the last week so she might have overdid it just a bit because she said I'm kind of down in my back yeah right load the car bring the trailer out you know nothing surprises me with her Y'all, she did go one time to the Raz sale in Dallas. They have a, or they did, I don't know if they still do it or not, but they have a, had a sale a couple of times a year where they just blow out and get rid of stuff in their warehouse. I don't know if it's last year's stuff or I don't know what they do, but she got up there and bought so much that it wouldn't fit in her car, yeah. So that's that's the mesh on the rail. Oh yeah, they got on there last night and they they were they were a little a little crazy. So let's uh, do a little bow. A little over an hour. How far are you from Dallas? Oh, I am two hours. Two hours from Dallas. Okay, so let's throw this bow together right quick. Like we got plenty of time. So let's just make about a 12, 12 inch tail. That'll be good enough. And then we'll do about a six inch loop. inch loop oh you like my combination girl I just I just ran through the shop at home and grabbed some stuff I mean it's and that's that's pretty much how I craft Don't think about it very long. And a lot of times when I'm grabbing stuff, Michelle's over there saying, that don't match. That don't go with it. No, not that. So, 
what I usually say is I am a man and a lot of times I don't match. I have trouble matching clothes. But they always seem to come out okay, y'all. Okay, so I did three loops on each side. And then I'm gonna grab another color. And give it a little dovetail. And I think I'll do two loops. And that's that's another thing. I don't have, I don't have like a recipe for a bow. I just throw it together until I like it. Y'all, I have one of those new uh, contraptions, Easy Bow contraptions, but it's still in the box. I saw it back there when I was fixing to come line up. I ain't going to use that. I'm, I'm going to go with, go with the old school. I have used one. I just haven't used mine. I bought it, uh, I just hadn't unwrapped it. Lorraine, that's your method, just, just go with it. Think long, you think long. I don't know where I heard that. And I just want one loop of this black. I just want to pop. Are you headed to Gladewater, Jace? Come on. So just one loop of black, black to pop. And then we're gonna move on to some inch and a half. I see some of y'all talking about the stony twist. I'll show you what they're talking about. If you have a patterned ribbon, let me see, let me, do I have a patterned ribbon anywhere around here? No, we'll do it on this one. If you have a patterned ribbon and, you know, like, like the trucks, you know, when you do your loop and you twist and you put it down, Sometimes your trucks, you know, are right side up over here, upside down over here. Y'all, that bothers some people. So to fix that, if you will just pick that one loop up and completely twist it bottom side up and set it back down, you can see those bunnies now are going in the exact same direction as these bunnies are. Right? So if you turn it back over, these bunnies are going opposite than these bunnies. Flip that loop and they're going back in the same direction. So 
if you were doing a pattern ribbon, you know, that it really does make a difference. That's how you fix that without cutting and doing all that. Okay, and so the inch and a half, I'm just going to do two loops of bunnies. Linda, you always cut the ribbon. Try it next time without cutting it. And I'm just going to do one loop of this. Morning, Julia. Not no more. Not no more. If I had some pattern ribbon clothes, I would show you what I was talking about. Put a couple of loops of this pink in there just to break it up. So. Our party get the dancing. Are you crazy? Who started a star party? Party people. Too early to party. Thank y'all for the stars. Y'all are awesome. Just awesome. Yeah, a couple of pinks, and then we'll end it off with one burlap loop, and we'll be done with the bow. Shake a leg. I ain't shaking nothing. And y'all went up as I went down with this bow, it got the loops got smaller. And you see that they're stacked, but they're in. Ooh, I got a star going crazy. A big old star running up the screen. I don't know what all that's about, y'all. Okay, so that's our bow. Let's end it with just a loop of turquoise or blue or whatever this is. And do that, do that. Did I get the star party, y'all? Yay! Huge star just went everywhere. They did on mine too. Wow. Okay, so there's there's a bow. And 
that's a bow. It's a pretty big bow, yo. And a, a little secret, I don't know if y'all have ever seen me do this. <clears throat> it is a big old bow. But if you use pipe cleaners to tie your bows, I put two together, so I have plenty of pipe cleaner to go through whatever I'm doing, whether it's grapevine or I don't do those much, but grapevine, mesh wreath, rail, anything, actually. I like long pipe cleaners. So when I put these together, I do a couple of twists. And if you keep twisting in the same direction, you can pull that apart. But if you'll do a couple of twists and then actually swap the ends of that pipe cleaner and then start twisting, then you've actually changed directions on that wire. So that will not come apart. You'll have to break that wire for that to come apart. So did that make sense? That's that's another little tip. And if we get this complete before the end, I'll I'll show you a little bit about what I'm talking about on that patterned ribbon. I'll give you a little better example. Little better example. Okay, so let's see what we got. Where is this coming from? Okay, so we'll just start at the bottom over here and spread these tails out. Y'all, those little tips, um, I don't know where I pick them up, or I think that one I just kind of came up with just because I needed to, I guess. Because I have been tying bows, and, you know, tying that pipe cleaner tight, and I feel it slip. Well, that's not good, right? That's my center loop. Up next is Kelly O2 Jersey Girl Designs. Y'all, I haven't heard from her, so I hope she's okay and ready to go. Because we're going to send her some folks, ain't we? All right, y'all, there we go. It'll look better once we get it on the wreath, but, or on the uh, project. Okay, let's see. Is it going to look okay on there? I think it'll be fine.
And y'all, once I get the bow on, I just kind of look at it and say, what colors do I need to bring out? Thanks, Barb. It's been a minute since I've tied a bow, y'all. And I know you can't see, I had to pull it off the edge of the table to get it, get it tied on there. And then once you get your bow on, do a little fluff job. I usually don't worry too much about getting it perfect because I'm not done. But where my other look? Way down here. And we'll work the tails just a little bit, just to give them just the curl. I like them to curl under the wreath or the rail. And there we have our bow. And then I look, I just look at it and see what colors do I really need to pull out? Because I usually put two ribbon tails on the edges. You don't have to, you could stop here and you would be fine. But I think I need to pull out some black. I think I could pull out a little bit of pink. And then I'll pull out a little bit more of the rabbit. So I do uh, two and a half and two inch and a half for tails. And we're fixing to be out of time. We got eight minutes, so I will uh, probably just do one, just so you can see, and then we'll show the finished project in a post later. But I, I want I want to go get some directional ribbon right quick just to show you that. No, oh. I don't need all this stuff if I'm just going to do one. So two and a half. So you could, like I said, you can completely stop right where you're at and it would be okay. And I cut these at 13 inches. Sometimes you can do 13, 14, 12. I don't know. I just... Okay, so we'll put these together, fold them in the middle, open them back up, pinch them, and once I pinch, I just bend them down because I want them going in that direction. And then I just add them straight into the wreath or the rail. 
then I just do the two on the end and it just gives it a little pop of color. Okay, so I'll show you that right quick. So that just gives it the, the pop of color that matches the bow. And then there'll be one right here and then two on this side. So that, that's all I'm gonna do on that. So it is 1055. So let me see if I have directional ribbon right quick. This is the first one I found. So it's a truck. It's a fall ribbon. It's got trucks with pumpkins in the back. So if you're putting it on your bow maker, do your tail, do your twist. And when you come around, you see you have a truck that's right side up. Do your twist. And on this side, you have a truck that's upside down. So to fix that, y'all, you just take this loop. There's not a truck on that loop. Hang on. Might not be a great example, but we'll make it work. Uh, twist. Okay, so truck. Upside down truck. Well, that's still no truck. Y'all, this ain't a good example, but if you'll notice, the truck is upside down. On this side so if you pick this total the whole loop up grab it flip it around then you have your trucks are actually going in the same direction and I didn't cut anything so when you continue doing your bow After you, you do your twist, this truck is right side up. When you do your twist, now you have an upside down truck again. Every time, that upside down truck. So you just take that one loop, pick it up, twist it, put it back down. And then you have the truck going in the same direction. That's a hard one to do. Okay, so it's time to move on, y'all. Appreciate y'all coming and seeing um, a rail. We didn't quite get it finished, but you got the idea, I hope. Um, so we're gonna move on to Kathy O'Toole, and if Beck's still here, uh, maybe she can throw the link in, and she just did. So if you will go see Kathy, Show her all the love, y'all. All the love. And once Kathy's done, we go to uh, Starfish Wreaths at 12. Vicki Stroud. So, y'all enjoy the day. Uh, comment, share, like, follow all these people. Um, they would love it. So y'all have fun. Bye y'all. Thanks for showing up.